What's going on guys? It's Mike Reed here with Yards Per Fantasy for the very first edition of Fantasy Read and React. All season long I'll be bringing you guys video analysis and advice for your fantasy teams. And today I want to kick things off talking about the biggest wild card position in fantasy and that is the tight end position. And I'm really playing my flag in to who I think is going to be the breakout tight end this year and that is Hayden Hurst of the Atlanta Falcons. So for the tight end position there's really two different ways you can for draft strategy. It's either you're spending a top pick on like a George Kittle, Travis Kelsey, Zach Ertz, Mark Andrews, and even Darren Waller. So if you're not taking one of those five guys, you're really playing a game of chicken and really trying to wait as long as you can to get that breakout tight end. This year there actually is a lot of good prospects uh, for breakout tight ends this year. Tyler Higby, TJ Hawkinson, uh, even Rob Gronkowski's back in the fold with Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But I think Hayden Hurst this year is going to be that guy who really can project and really be that sixth tight end, maybe even break into the top five this year. Um, and he comes with a brand new team, obviously, he just got traded from the Baltimore Ravens. And the Ravens really loved him as a player. They didn't trade him because he's bad. They just they traded him because, I mean, they have great depth at that position. They have a top five tight end already, Mark Andrews. They have an underrated blocking tight end, Nick Boyle. So Hayden Hurst kind of just fell out of favor. He still played, but he didn't get the receiving work that needs to be done for fantasy purposes. This year, he goes to the Atlanta Falcons, who threw the ball more than anyone last year. And he's going to be the third target for Matt Ryan, right behind Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley. They trade a second round pick for him, so they really believe he's, he's a quality player, and he's going to fill it right in uh, for the Austin Hooper role, who just moved to Cleveland. And Austin Hooper vacated 97 targets last year, and he was the tight end six in fantasy for full PPR. So Hayden Hurst will most likely get around, I believe, 90 targets this year, and that should equivalent to, honestly, a top seven, eight season at worst. And I, like I said, I think top five is, is a true, uh, honestly, potential for Hayden Hurst because he has a breakaway ability that not many tight ends have. He has that breakaway ability to create yards after catch and really bust open a game. Uh, last year in the Buffalo Bills game, won a huge game for the Ravens last season. He broke over just a quick crossing route and took it 61 yards for a touchdown. That was one of the games Mark Andrews got hurt and Hayden Hurst really stepped up. So he's only been missing opportunity and he finally gets it now in a pass heavy offense with Matt Ryan and Hula Jones and Kevin on the outside will really take pressure away from Hayden Hurst honestly. And really in the middle of the field he's gonna be seaming up, he's going to be busting seams right there, and uh, he's going to have an awesome season, I think, and uh, right now he's going around tight end 13, uh, which is I think is a great value uh, for him, and uh, if you if you can get him, really target, start targeting him around, around 10, if any any way you can get him after around 10, that gives you enough uh, wiggle room to get some wide receivers, running backs, stack up on those positions, and then really you're getting a top five potential tight end uh, in the back half of the draft. And uh, yeah, so I think Hayden Hurst, lock and loaded. And last but certainly not least, he has awesome opportunity for a nickname. I'm calling right now. It's going to be Hayden Burst. And uh, he's going to burst onto the scene this year and into your fantasy lineups. Go drafting this year, guys. See you soon.